If there's one thing I'll always stand for, it's that clothes shopping is fucking shit. Never have I ever thought that I'd ever make a video on buying material to wear, because let's be honest, there's a lot of shit behind clothes shopping that essentially gets shrugged away that really just pisses me off in a nutshell. So, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. I'm gonna really get into a next one. Back to school sales. I fucking hate these. Seriously, although I'm still in college, this will still count towards me. Back to school is fucking dog shit. The amount of times I see these fucking shit popping up all over telly and internet really just pisses me off. Think about it. These bastards are all smiling while you fucking... Why you just throw your money at the TV for shit fucking shoes, bastard pencils and ties that make you look like a daft cunt? Don't expect to get fucking choked by these ties because they'll fucking tear in a heartbeat. It's overall just the stigma that back to school clothes sales just fucking boil your blood. Partly because as a youngster, we all hate fucking school. You don't realise that till you're gone, let me tell you. But back to school sales, I will always fucking hate these because of the bullshit concept of them. I mean, you don't have a back to work sale, because I argue that that would piss off adults. But back to school, it can go fuck itself. Bastard back to school. How many of you get fucking tired walking around Matalan and shit like that? I tell you. I fucking do. I hate walking around clothes shopping. You're just looking at the same shit over and over again, occasionally trying it on, and then putting it back when you don't fucking want it anymore. I have, honestly, lost countless hours in a fucking Matalan, whether you're going with your mum, your dad, or some cunt you don't like. You are always in there longer than expected. I fucking hate clothes shopping because it's such an awful concept. Yeah, you fucking need it, but there's just so much bullshit behind it that really just fucking makes you mental. For example, let's say you're waiting outside the changing rooms for some cunt getting changed. You get looked at like you're a fucking monster, like you're gonna sneak in and attack someone for some odd reason. What's wrong with these fucking benches being put out there? And God forbid if you're on your phone outside the fucking changing rooms, you'd get looked like, like you're some sort of fucking predator. Let me give you a quick little summary on what you should do. Find a shirt, buy it, take it home, and if it doesn't fit, fuck you. Right? That you'll save literally half the time in Matalan and more times in more productive shops like a game shop or an Argos or whatever the fuck. So, buy it. Take it home, if you don't wear it, leave it, alright? Don't try it on, you're only wasting more fucking time. Don't even get me fucking started on a certain demographics type of store. You know what the fuck I'm on about. New Look, Bon Marche, all sorts of clothing for the more feminine type of shopper. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave it there, because I think you can already tell that that's going to be a a problem, if I say the wrong thing, for my most respected demographic, I'm gonna keep it to a minimum. But for fuck's sake, do you really need to be in there four fucking hours? I mean, handbags are all the same really, so I'd need to buy a different one for each day of the week, and don't even get me started on fucking makeup, lipstick, eyewear, whatever the fuck, it's all the fucking same, so just grab it, take it home, and if it makes you look like a cunt, don't fucking buy it. Get some else, just grab it, in out, you shouldn't be in there for fucking hours. <clears throat> Still onto the topic of regular shopping, do you know what really pisses me off? When some cunt comes up to you wondering if you're looking for anything in particular per se. Leave me the fuck alone. Obviously I didn't walk into a clothes store to deliberately say, yeah have you got like a shirt with like a stripe down it that makes me look like a daft cunt. Who the fuck's gonna say something like that? Yeah, they're only doing the job, so don't call them a cunt. Don't tell them to fuck off. Just politely decline. Don't say. Don't don't give them an obvious description because then they'll be like, fuck's sake, what did I come over to this dozy cunt for? But yeah, don't come up to us. Cheers. 
And on that note, that's my vent and opinions on fucking clothes shopping and shit like that. I could have said more, then again it's always open for a part two, so who knows, I really enjoyed making this, it was quite funny. And if you haven't already, you know what to hit, you know what to press, you know which certain bell notification to switch on, and if you haven't already, I'd appreciate that. But on that note, I'm gonna say, I'll sin a bit, much love, and try to minimise the next time you're in a fucking clothes shop. I'll sin a bit, take care, much love.